who is the one that you try to impress, that you try to like, you hope they like your work, that they don't say much to you about your work, that is the hardest? Because we all have somebody in our family. Mine is my dad. He's just like, you know, he doesn't say much of, of, of anything at all. Hmm. This this sounds like a cop out. They're, they're all supportive of my work, but I would say the voice in my head of the person that I always that would it would be my mother. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think that letting her down by either like you know an attack by Howard Stern or doing a part that was you know when I was a kid doing something topless doing those those kinds of things I was always worried to let her down, even though I know nothing I did do would let her down, but she's my voice in my head. Right. You know, mom. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. This the best lady I know. I'm not knocking her, but she definitely is like when that stuff happened, I went, (laughs) Whoa, I just went against like every single thing my mom tried to program into me. Not just, well, we got to go our own way. Fleetwood Mac said it. You got to go your own way. And sometimes along the, that way, you're going to fall or sometimes you're going to look like an idiot or sometimes you're going to be a little embarrassed. And that's yeah. all part of it. I'm, I'm mortified half my, uh, half of my life. But you know, the thing with my mom, which I find interesting is like, I worry about all those things, but then she's my deepest supporter. If that makes sense. Yeah. So it's almost like I've imagined I've put her in this space of judgment, but that she's not actually in that space. That's my own judgment. It, and she's, like anytime I've talked to her about any of those kinds of things, like her, her support and her love and her understanding of humanity and stuff is just boom, it's there. Right. So as you know, probably, I don't know if you figured out when you do, if you, I don't know if you do it, um, but I'm currently doing therapy. It's like the narrative that you create is your narrative. Right. And it may not actually be what's happening. Right. Yeah. In someone else's head. Yeah. You kind of put it there. Huh. That makes me think a lot. By like the way, with all your pieces and all the things that you're, you know, insecurities. And then, then the cool thing is, is once you start realizing that, then you can kind of go, oh, I'm putting this on there because this is a thing for me. Right. I didn't know you were topless in something. Oh, yeah, it was awful. Really? Was awful. Yeah. You hated it. Well, how many years ago was that? I was 20. It was my last credit to get in the union. <laughs> wow. Were you were you nervous? That had to be crazy. It was, and you know what? I have to say, I didn't want to do it. Um, it was it was not a pleasant experience for me. And I would Aww. challenge anybody who's young who feels like they don't want to do that stuff. I don't know anybody who'd have the chutzpah to do it. Maybe the girls of this generation, I, more power to them. But I remember I was kissing my on-screen boyfriend, Matt, who's just a lovely person. And I was crying. And I was like, I don't want to do this. He's like, you don't have to do this. I was like, I don't have to do this. And then I just continued to do the scene where I like tease him and I go out into the water and I, right, right. And it looked awful. It was terrible. And you know, they didn't tell me about like it's supposed to be topless. And then it ended up being, I oh, let's take your pants off too. And then I hadn't prepared myself for that. So then I was wearing really inappropriate underwear. So like, it ended up being like a full on, basically. They took advantage of you. Sounds like. And then I find out later from all my friends who are in in um crew and everything they're like oh yeah we we had our stunt group one guy was carrying a hose the other guy was carrying like it was in a close set i didn't know about that i was so fucking scared oh my thing but i'm so driven too so my brain was like six credits i'm in the union then i can be a union background performer and i can make 20 dollars an hour and then i can try to audition for bigger parts and so my brain just went fucking do it erica like to get past all the stuff from your childhood this is your awful and now i realize no that's probably part of my makeup like i really didn't want to do that thing 